Hi everyone, um, this video is going to be my skincare routine video and this has been really really requested and the reason I haven't done it up till now is because I just started a new skincare regime and I didn't want to kind of talk about it before I'd used it for long enough and um, so I could be able to give you a kind of more in-depth opinion about it and I'm sorry I'm just a bit uncomfortable. Um, so I'm going to talk you through my morning skincare and then my evening skincare and um, and I love what I'm using at the moment my skin has never been better than it is now it's really clear and great and I think it's really interesting because up till about three four weeks ago before I started using these products it really wasn't I was getting acne and I've never had acne in my life and I was suddenly getting acne and I was just really kind of frustrated with my skin which is not something that I normally do I know a lot of people are but I never was I generally had pretty good skin so I'm just going to talk you through the products I use and the first product is something that I kind of this was one of the reasons why I was a little bit reluctant to do this video too because this is such a cult product I kind of feel like maybe it's a bit boring that I'm talking about this because it's so talked about and it's a little bit like oh that but it really is that amazing so I'm going to have to talk about it and the product that I'm talking about is the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish which looks like this and I was kind of sceptical as to the, if this would work for me because I have got very oily skin but this is the most incredible cleanser I've ever used it's absolutely amazing and um, I'm sure like you all know it works in conjunction with the muslin cloth so what I do is you massage this all over your face when it's dry I use this in the morning which is another thing I know a lot of people use this at night to remove their makeup I personally don't like removing my makeup with this but um, I use it in the morning massage it all over my face and then I fill my sink basin with hot water not boiling hot but fairly hot and then I dampen this muslin cloth this is just the new one that came but it looks like this dampen the muslin cloth fold it and then just rub, rub the cleanser off in circular motions and it makes your skin look so fresh and so glowing and it, it feels really luxurious and really lovely I kind of I like can't wait to wash my face with this it's that nice and um, then I use a toner and this is dupe alert because this is a dupe for the Liz Earl toner which I think is called the what's it called is it the brightening spray or something like that I'm not too sure but anyway this is a dupe for it because I have had it before and I saw this and I thought mm, that sounds pretty similar um I'm sorry this part of my hair is being a bit in the way this sounds similar I'll try it and it is and it's the botanics skin brightening toner which looks like this and it's amazing value for money you get um 250 mils and it's around three or four pounds so i think that's really great and it's just a kind of nice toner i pop it on a cotton pad swipe it all over my face and it doesn't leave you feeling dry it just leaves you feeling really clean and it makes your skin look really glowy but glowy in a nice way not in a kind of shiny spotty oily way so that's that and then the next product is um, the at night so I've gotten home time to you know take my makeup off and I do two steps I take my makeup off first and then I cleanse again to make sure everything's really clean and the product I use to take my makeup off is the Boots Botanics Organic Face Soothing Cleansing Balm and I talked about this in my makeup remover video and it's just a very thick waxy balm that when you rub in turns into an oil and I find oil based cleansers are the most effective in um, taking makeup because the particles are a lot smaller so they can really get into your skin and just dissolve it and dissolve all the makeup off and it's great for removing um, eye makeup it doesn't irritate your eyes at all because it's organic um, I think it's like 97% organic or something but it's really really amazing and it does the job just so well I can't recommend this enough it's great it's a great cleanser in itself 
but then I like to cleanse again and what I use again is, oh I'm sorry I forgot to mention in the morning the moisturiser I use is part of the range that I use at night and it's the Dr Niccolo Oil Control Day Cream which looks like this and it comes in a pot like this and it's just this kind of, it's fairly thick but once you get it on your fingers it's actually very thin it's a thin consistency but it's quite solid and this is an amazing, amazing moisturiser. If you've got oily skin, go out and get this because it's amazing. Especially at the moment when you get, um, I think if you spend £5 in boots, you get a voucher um, of £5 off for different skincare items. And Dr. Niccolo products is one of them. And this is how I got all these products because this is the most expensive and it's £15 and I got it for £10. So I think that's really good. And this is a lovely, lovely moisturiser. If you've got oily skin, go and get this. Seriously, it's amazing. And I use this in the morning after I've used my Lizelle cleanser and the toner. So after I've removed all my makeup, I use the Dr. Nick Lowe Purifying Foaming Cleanser, which looks like this. And um, I normally don't really like foaming cleansers I kind of find they don't really clean properly but this is a, isn't is just like a normal foam I suppose it's a little bit thicker maybe than some um it's a, quite a light consistency which is quite nice I'll just wipe this off somewhere um it's a nice consistency and I do one pump massage it around my face and then another pump and the other pump I use the body shop um Oh, it's not a scrub though, it's like a little like a little exfoliating thing. I know a lot of companies do them, Soap and Glory do them, Botanics do them. Just like a little pad that you can kind of scrub around your face and I find that that really gives your, your face a lot of clarity and really makes your skin look really clear and bright and fresh. So I use that, I'm really trying to think what it's called, I can't think, I'll have to put it in the sidebar. But I do know that Botanics have one of those as well, and I've used theirs, and theirs is lovely too. It's like a, like a little exfoliating pad. I can't think what it's called, but it's going to really annoy me now. But anyway, yeah, I use that with it. And then I use toner. And the toner for this is quite interesting because, oh dear, what is that? <laughs> I'll stop fiddling. The toner is an, in oh my goodness, what is going on? Just stay like that, who cares? <laughs> I'm sure you'll not hate me for being messy hair. Whatever. But anyway, the toner of this is really an interesting thing because, um, first of all, note the packaging of these. Aren't they weird packaging? They look like hospital products. And that's because Dr. Nick Lowe is a dermatologist. So it is kind of... Um, very not medicated but all the ingredients are quite active to kind of get rid of things and I'd say if you've got acne and you've tried like things like you know Clearacel and Oxy and um, you know visibly clear and that kind of thing try these because they're not as hard and as stripping as a lot of those other products are um, they're kind of an effective but gentle way of doing it and I prefer that I think when you use really harsh products it actually strips your skin rather than brightening it up and getting rid of the oil it strips it and then your skin kind of overcompensates in producing more oil so I think that's sort of not very good but um the Dr. Niccolo toner is called the Sebum Control Cleanser and it's, that, it's just a toner. But it's like, it's a thicker consistency than most toners and you feel like it's really getting deep down into your skin. And I really like this toner, it's a really great product and you need the tiniest amount, like literally a couple of drops on a cotton pad and that's it. And then this product is something that I found recently and I saw it on holly may 20s channel and this is amazing and it is the witch um blemish gel which looks like this and this isn't like a gel for targeted spots i use this as like an overnight treatment because um witch is quite a kind of um natural brand well it's not a natural brand but the products that they use are fairly natural in comparison to other kind of spot um 
spot treatments kind of thing. Like if you look at the ingredients here, there's not that many bad ingredients. They don't use peroxide or anything like that or salicylic acid and that kind of thing. Um, and it's got a lot of witch hazel in it. And I love witch hazel. I think it's amazing. If you want to just use witch hazel as toner, it works a treat. And I did, I did do that for a long time. But this is just a clear gel. It comes in a little pot like this. It's three pounds, I think. And I just put a tiny bit in my hand, massage it in, focus on my forehead, nose and chin and white, 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 ugh, the rest on my cheeks. And it has cleared up my skin like no other. Like literally, there is nothing going on. I have like little dry patches on my cheeks. But that's it, you know, nothing, no blocked pores, no, it gets rid of blackheads on your nose. Um, it's just amazing and it makes your skin feel really like matte but hydrated so I think it could probably be a good base for, for makeup I don't know I'm gonna have to try that and then let you know and if anyone's tried this let me know how you feel about it because I've never heard of it before but I really really like it and it's kind of made me want to try more witch products so I really like that um, and then there's a couple of other things but I'm gonna save those for another video because it's like face masks and that kind of thing that I use sort of twice a week but yeah that's it that's my skincare routine um i really really like what i'm using at the moment if you've used any any of these products um and you like them let me know if you don't like them let me know as well if like they've done anything to your skin i'd like to know that and let me know what your skincare regime is put it in as a video response or let me know in the comments because i love skincare probably a bit more than makeup actually i'm really into skincare um, so yeah, just let me know and I will see you all very, very soon and I hope you have a great day and I might make another video later on actually, I think I've got something in mind that I want to do, I'm feeling inspired. But yeah, I hope you have a great day and I will see you all later, bye bye.